Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Drill Down. Let's get back to it. I'm going to unpause the game. I was just kind of before starting the episode looking through our map here, our layout. And there's several things, <laughs> there's several things we can clean up. But I noticed a huge problem over here by our steel production. And this is kind of our main bottleneck right now. We need steel we have some steel uh plates we want to store up some steel ingots that's going kind of slow but i noticed when we put our little barrel here we forgot to turn the filter on to let this stuff out so let's do that that will send a bunch of coal over to the iron smelter here and get that going right now there are, there are a few iron bars stacked up but let's just see how that does we're also trying to get to where we can quote unquote drill down name of the game and I think it's in miscellaneous here's the shaft drill we need water we need all those steel ingots we got that going we need to produce concrete powder and I guess those are the ingredients for us to drill down to the next level to make the drill excuse me to make the drill itself we need 50 bricks which we've got 15 steel ingots, which we've got, and 30 steel plates, which we have. So we're in good shape to construct this. I guess we could build it. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We're going to have to feed it ingots and concrete powder. Let's look and see if we can figure out how to do water. Liquids. A groundwater pump. That's the only thing we can build right now, it looks like. Every five seconds, we get five liters of water. It takes five steel plates and nine copper tubes. We're okay on that. We're going to need to produce more steel plates, I'm sure of it. Water boiler creates steam. That's later, and condenser is later, I'm guessing. Groundwater pump. Do we have a way to store water? Storage. Tank. Okay, we need copper plates. We're not producing copper plates yet. 40 copper plates stores a fluid and can pump it out again. And does it store 20 liters, I guess, per tank? Uh, that might be something we want to do. It looks like we can place this stuff just about anywhere. That would be water. Should we do copper plates first? That's kind of what I'm wondering. Right now on the copper, let's look and see how we're doing. For copper, basically, we have copper plates here, but we're sending them all in to make pipe. We've got 253 pipe. Hey, what? Let's divert this line. Let's divert this line and start saving up some copper plates. Our copper production is really, really slow, too. We need to improve that. But let's at least start saving off some copper plates here. I'm going to put some barrels down. Do we want to run a belt or just do barrels? Yes, we can put barrels pretty darn close here. As always, we can always move this stuff or realign it later. Will that let me go right there? Yeah. Let's do another. Ah, uh, one's probably enough, actually. Just make sure this is going to work. Let's save up some copper plates. <clears throat> we should be good. Okay, that's all good. Our copper supply is kind of anemic. We could shore that up. We've got two copper deposits there and then we could take two more by deleting this copper mine moving it up one and then putting another one down here um there's four underneath this thing we can tell because it's showing only copper is the only thing coming out of there if we did split this or we put a copper mine here we need to route the junk stone that's going to come up that is That is going in way down here. We have this huge stone 
warehouse. <laughs> it's just loaded up with stone. It can hold 5,000. It'd be nice to route it there, but boy, that's a long run. We'd have to connect up to this belt here, I guess. Or the closest one might be over here. We could send stone through here, and it would filter its way all the way into storage. But we gotta come down from way up here. Might be worth doing, right? Because our copper is just really slow. And we're not saving... We're not even saving the ingots, are we? Or do we have some in here? Uh, we've got a few copper ingots. We could eventually fork this guy off and save some copper ingots. I don't think we should do the wire up here. I think we should do wire maybe off of this. We've got some copper down here that we can work with. Should we shore that up now and do it? Uh, why don't we? We need to find a path. Dump off the stone. That's the only thing. That's a little crazy. We've got tons of stone. We got a thousand. So we can create belts till the cows come home. It's not going to be a problem. Let's jump in. Let's start doing it. Let's get... Let's shore up this copper. Get copper going down here. Also. Then we'll get the wire produced. And then we can pursue maybe the water. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to start with this mine up here. Okay, boom. Then we're going to need a filter. And in the filter, we want to set the copper to go down. Copper ore. That's you. And maybe stone out the side? Yeah, let's do stone out towards the left. Stone. Connect these conveyors up. You to you. You to you. Rotate that guy. And then let's think about our path to get rid of this stone. We could obviously do other storage, but this thing is huge. I'm thinking we should just send it down there until these belts get in our way. Um, let's try to do it that way. That means this guy coming out. I suppose we could hug this turn. Ooh, pause. How's the game? Escape out of the build menu. Rotate this belt. That's what I want. Let's delete this one. I want that stone clogging things up. Let's try and fix this. That's good. We need to come down. Uh, this is the input belt, so maybe... Where? Oh man, we are far away, aren't we? We are. We want to cross over these guys. Let's just do our conveyor bridges here, here, and here. And here, it may turn out that we decide to um, have some other big warehouse to dump stone. We could do that. Let's let's look at that. This is going to get a little snaky here. We do a massive warehouse. Let's see how big these are. We can build it. Should we put one of these up here and just have a dump or stone up here? Kind of on this side of the map. Does that make sense or is that a waste of space? just don't know how much space we're going to need. 
Let's, yeah, I'm going to change course and I'm going to drop that warehouse. Let's do this for now. Let's trade. Let's change this out. Let me get out of the build menu here. I'm going to delete kind of what we put down. And select boom to boom. Can leave the bridges there, that's fine. I don't mind. And I'm changing direction just because we have a few mines here that we can route coal route the uh, excess stone to over this way. So maybe that makes more sense. Let's get rid of that. And instead have the filter go off to the right. Stone. Come with that. Bayers from here to here. And you up to you. And then let's tear out this and take advantage of these two other deposits that we've got. That copper mine goes. We got one here. <clears throat> but we're gonna, we're gonna um get in the way of that clay, aren't we? Let's Maybe we can go off to the side here. Boom. Boom. And then we need a filter as well. Mm. How do we want to do this? I guess maybe these should be rotated. Let me get out of the build menu here. So we can, can I rotate that after I place it? Nope. I'm playing a different game right now where if you place an item, you can still rotate it once it's down. This one, you can't do that. Uh, we want the stone coming out this way. We want the ore going out the other direction. This is going to be the stone coming in. don't know if I want to block this area out. We've got some clay here that could be useful for power up in this corner. You know what I'm saying? We can use that along with a lumberjack to create charcoal. So I'm just nervous about covering this up with belt. I think it's pretty safe to do a conveyor from here. In fact, we need to not block that. Now that, I see. Pardon my mistakes here. That's the input. Oh, everything's got to go in through there. Let's let's push all of the output out of these mines down this way. Over here. And then can we put a filter here? Uh, uh, let's see. We're going to want to connect up to this to dump off the stone. So that could come out. No, that won't take it there. Okay. Get out of build mode. Let's do up is going to be our copper. Bam. And then off to the left is going to be our byproduct, the stone. Connect that guy up. Boom. Rotate this. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And then this is our bright product, the stone that's got to cross over and join up with that. So let's do conveyor bridge here. And regular conveyor from here to here. Here to here. That looks kind of like what I want. Let's hit play and see where the mistakes have been made. So that'll increase our copper quite a bit. We're picking up 
we're basically doubling our copper production at the cost of producing a whole bunch of more stone. But the copper is so slow right now. We've got it set up now to stockpile some copper plates for us. We've got copper pipes already stockpiled. Once we get some plates, maybe we'll redirect this conveyor here and stockpile some ingots too. I'm guessing we're going to need all three of those. Uh, okay, we got a problem here. This is likely just a direction thing. Always good to check. I think we're good. We could have gone with a bunch of barrels. I don't know if that would have been more efficient. This is 5,000. That sure seems like a lot. The 5,000 would be at least 15, 17, something like that. 17 of the barrels. Yeah, not sure if that would have been more compact because that's all we're storing is one material here. The warehouses can support multiple. Barrels can only support a single item type. But anyway, that's done. Let's get wire being produced here. And the reason I'm going after this stuff before we do the water is just, um, you know, we can't move the minerals around. The water we can put anywhere. The water extractor, the water pump. I kind of want to tap into these ore veins before we cover them up with belts and things. So let's see. What makes sense here? We've got, boy, we've got a mine there, a mine there, a mine there, and then a kind of a crappy mine here with just one thing. Like these three cells make sense to put into a copper mine, potentially. Or we could do one here, one here. No, oh, that doesn't make sense. One here would be two, and then we'd have these two stragglers out there. Let's just get on it. Um, we're going to have to route the stone here, too, but we're a lot closer now where we can dump that off. Are we going to have room for all this? I just don't know. If when we, if when we dig down to the next level, is that going to give us a whole new... A blank slate to place factory stuff. I just, that's the part I'm really anxious to figure out. Uh, let's get wire set up. Let's just do it. If we have to rip it up, we'll rip it up. So the first copper can go there. One, two. Or should we do one, two, three? If I do two, yeah. Hmm. Looks like with two mines, the most I can cover is five of these cells. Five of the deposits. If I do three, one, two, and three, we'd have six. One, two. Let's start out with two. And we want to run that copper. Let's see, we gotta run it through, I think just a furnace, the casters here, or the ingot molds, I don't know what we call these, ingot molds. And then the extruder guy, let's look at that. Wire drawer, <laughs> one ingot gets us eight wire, nice. Oh, let's see. Is that the same for all recipes? Yeah. One to eight. One ingot gets you a wire. Well, that's not bad. Kind of makes me think we could use... We could just put it over here. Eight wire per ingot. That's kind of nice. Let's do it over here anyway, just because it's so slow. Uh, we can maybe stockpile some ingots down there also. How are we doing on the plates? 29. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Bridge. We go up into a filter. 
and then bridge over. We can connect right up to this to dump off our stone. And then the copper could come back down. Let's try that. Show you what I'm thinking. Maybe just there. Let's see how close I can get a filter. Ooh, it looks like it will go there. Might go there too. Let's try it there. I want to put a conveyor bridge right there. Another conveyor bridge right there. This is going to be our stone that we don't want. Oops, let me get out of the build and rotate this guy. Boom. That'll be stone going upwards. You. And then we'll send the copper off to the side. Up to the left here. And now we need to send that copper through what? Furnace. And we gotta have, <laughs> we gotta get that furnace some fuel. Ah, uh, boy, fuel. Here we're gonna get fuel. We could do something here. There's more dirt here. I think we need to clean up this. Oh man. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of rework, but we'll get there in iterations. Need a furnace. And I need to leave room to bring coal in here. Our coal. Um, and we don't have splitters yet, which is driving me crazy. Just checking on these charcoal mounds. Looks like they're, yeah, they're working. They're just kind of slow. How am I going to get charcoal into here? I'm wondering, should I leave a barrel or something? an input buffer. Hmm. Just thinking of how, trying to think of how we want to route the coal into our furnace that's going to smelt up our copper. And where that charcoal is going to come from. We've got a bunch of extra dirt over here. These guys are not supplying enough. Seems like, let's see, need to rework this. Heavily rework this. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, we got a bunch of space up here. What I'm kind of thinking of doing, just so I can share my thoughts with you, we've got, you know, lumberjacks are easy. We can place those anywhere, right? So there's never going to be a shortage of wood. But for the clay, our issue right now is we can only have, without the splitters, we can only have them send to a single coal mound or charcoal mound at a time, uh, which is kind of a drag. But what I'm thinking of doing is if we had a buffer before each one of these coal mounds, then we could have the clay mine send to one of the buffers, fill that thing up with like, you know, if we had two barrels, it'd be 700 clay and then switch over to the other one, fill that guy up and we wouldn't have to toggle these so much between coal mounds because I'm envisioning that we're going to have to set up 
bunch more of these. In fact, we've got a bunch of space here that's kind of useless where we could have a... Could have a bunch, um... A bunch of those coal mounds. Because we need the charcoal. We just... I mean, we're doing okay in the steel factory, it looks like. In fact, we're starting to collect a fair number of ingots here. In fact, maybe I'll let some of these out. Let me let some of these out. And let's make some more, um... We'll make some more plates out of this. I'll get this down to 50. We do need a ton. I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna let this go down to 50. These will all be turned into plates and stored in this barrel. Alright, that's that. These copper mines have to stay where they're at. Let's just do it. Let's just push forward and we'll figure it out as we go. We need the furnace. Let's do it here. I'm gonna leave a little room. Thinking about putting a barrel right there on top. Let's see if I can do it. Will it let me put one there? Not there, but it will let it stay there. Alright, that's going to be for the charcoal when it comes in. Let's put conveyor bridges down here and here just so we have them. Normal conveyor into here. Fix the direction on that. I'm going to pause while we do this part. We're going to route the copper in. Rotate that belt. That filter is set up already, so we're good there. We just need to bring in the charcoal. We could temporarily route some in, but I don't want to starve out the coal product or the um, steel production. What we could do is redirect some of this coal down there temporarily. Why don't we? Why don't we do that? I'm going to temporarily move this up. Boom. Get this guy going. And then what we'll do, I'll go ahead and hit play. I think we're safe. Yeah, there's the coppers moving. There goes the stone through the exhaust, basically, or the into the dump. No issues with that. Here comes our charcoal. We need to... I need to go to the build menu, then I need to set the filter on this guy to let it pass through. Waiting for inputs. This should be fine. Do I have something wrong? Or in fuel, you've got them. Oh, it needs an output. We need to output. It won't do anything till we output. Uh, but before we do, I wanted to open the gates down here for coal. That way we can keep the steel smelting. We've got a surplus of coal from all our little coal mines over here, so that is keeping up pretty nice. And we don't have splitters, so we have to kind of toggle these by hand, which is a drag. And then I can't put a barrel here as a buffer before our blast furnace, because remember, those barrels can only take one type of material. Right now, we're kind of toggling between this coal and the charcoal, and a barrel's not going to hold both of those, so I can't buffer at that stage. So 
but we'll let some charcoal buffer up into this guy maybe all right let's finish this production line now that we've got that it's super your production's going to be slow we probably don't even need two ingot molds just because the production of the ore is so slow but let's do it here are the ingot molds here Um, how do we want to do this? Ingot mold. Let's start with just one. Rotate this guy and we should see the furnace kick on. Nope, not with that. That's the wrong transport. We need the, uh... That channel, right? The brick channel. I seem to forget that every time. Now I would hope this thing would kick on. It's got everything it needs. What am I missing? Something obvious. Waiting for inputs. We'll take an ore and fuel and kick out molten metal. That's set up. What do you think we're missing here? Got the output for the molten metal. What, what's the matter? Like I'm missing something obvious here. That guy should be cooking. Or does it, does it really need to have these two swapped? Let's see, if I place another furnace, maybe I've got them backwards. Yeah, I got them backwards. The inputs are backwards. It matters. All right. Um, what can we do about that? Let's delete this, or let's pause. Go ahead and delete the furnace. And let's take this up. I don't think I can cross over a <laughs> cross over a barrel with a conveyor bridge. Wish I could. Oh, I wonder. What will that do? Is that gonna get rid of our barrel? Let's try it. No, it just won't let me do it. I see. We could... How are we going to bridge over all this? Our coal... Uh, let's see. Let's cancel this. Let's get our furnace. And that go... Here? Can... Yeah, this kind of works. Let's go with it. It's not super pretty, but it'll do the trick. Conveyor bridge there. Um, route the copper through here and into there. This guy into here, and then let's fix the direction on these. I don't know. Maybe I sh maybe I can rotate these. Yeah, as I'm building them, I haven't been paying attention to that, but I can do that. I'm trying to remember. Okay, then this goes away. This goes away. We should be good now. Let's hit play and see how it goes. Uh, we got a direction to change on this guy. Whoops. Oh, I had the delete key selected. Pause. Conveyor bridge. There. Let's try that. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna pause again. I'm thinking we might be able to put a barrel right here. Let's try it, just to have a buffer on this stuff. We may never need it, but let's just do it uh, for practice. It may be good practice to always have these little buffers to prevent congestion. I think that's fine. I just need to make sure we turn it on. We open it up and then let's hit play and just see how that works. So that's looking pretty good to me. Eventually we're going to burn through this excess coal. Yeah, which we've already kind of done. So we're going to have to work on charcoal next, maybe. And maybe we'll do something clever next episode to really kind of organize the coal production a little better. Charcoal production. But let's finish this before we get done with this episode. Let's quickly do... Uh, let's set up a little bit of storage for ingots. I want an option to store ingots or um, make wire. So let's do that. I'm going to put a barrel over here, just... I do two barrels. That will not take one. That will. Start with one storage of those. Show you what I'm thinking. We're gonna make wire, but I want the option to toggle this belt and make uh, and just store off ingots for use later. And then the wire is gonna come out. Oh, what? What the wire? No way. Is that the machine for the wire? Oh boy. That's interesting, huh? Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not expecting anything quite like that. That chews up a bunch of space, doesn't it? Okay, there's the input. Out comes the wire. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with it, I guess. Interesting. Looks kind of cool. I'm thinking we'll route the ingots down this way and through. We could even put another buffer there. Might as well. Uh, and then move these guys around. Come down and have some barrels here to store the wire. Let's do it. Let's just place it. I think that's going to be fine. Crazy looking machine. Wow. Let's get that connected up. That's what I want. And then we can toggle this when we want to save off extra ingots. Now I'm going to pause. And let's belt. Or let's first get some storage down. Storage barrel. There, and maybe another one. These can't sit right next to each other. Let's do two. And again, I'm not sure if... Okay, let's rotate it this time before we place it. That... Oh, I guess the rotate is not going to really help us. In this case, we still have to kind of come in and fix it. But we'll, we'll get that in a second. Connect that up. And then fix these. Rotate that down, rotate that down. There's probably a technique to avoid having to do that. All right, hit play. And then let this thing filter through. So we'll hit the filter, pump out from inventory. Ooh, that thing makes some noise, the uh, wire drawer. I kind of want to see it work. We got to wait for ingots to come out here. And we'll call it an episode. I didn't leave room for another caster. I suppose we could do something creative 
if we need to. Okay, there, our caster's doing its thing, or our extruder. Kind of interesting. There's our progress bar. Let's see what we get. Still going. Nice. There's our copper wire. All right, we got it done. Or now let's wrap this one up. This is Glider Cat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Next episode, I think we may rework the charcoal and get this all moved off to the right side of the map and maybe clear out this. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out some way, but I kind of want to be able to get this better. We need more charcoal production. In fact, we just starved out the iron mine. Let's, uh, before we leave, turn off this. We can get some coal going back to the iron smelting. But yeah, next episode, I think we'll work on more charcoal production. Or now again, Sclattercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to patrons and channel members. Your contributions are super duper appreciated and help keep the channel alive. Also, thanks to those of you who are giving the videos thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And I'll see you all in the very next episode.